In present video, I am going to explain about 16th problem from consignment accounts topic. I am making this video for degree students. So previous videos links are available in the description box. In this problem, I am going to explain about abnormal loss. Let us see the question first. Chandra consigned 100 bicycles costing 500 rupees each to his agent Gupta. He spent 1000 rupees for freight. 5 bicycles were totally damaged in transit due to fire. Gupta took delivery of the remaining bicycles and paid 800 rupees for customs duty. He sent an account sales showing that 80 bicycles were sold at 900 rupees each. They spent go down rent and advertising 1200 rupees. He is entitled to a commission of 5% on sales. Prepare consignment account. This is the question. Let us see the solution for this. Important points of the problem I have written on the board. Chandra and Gupta are in consignment business. Chandra sent 100 bicycles at the rate of 500 rupees each to Gupta on consignment basis. To send these goods, Chandra incurred expenditure 1000 rupees. And in transit, 5 bicycles were damaged due to fire accident. Gupta received remaining bicycles. How many? 100 minus 5, 95. In 95 bicycles, he sold 80 bicycles at the rate of 900 rupees each. To sell these goods, he incurred custom duty 800, go down rent and advertisement expenditure 1200. So, Kanzaini's total expenditure is 2000 rupees. He is entitled to take 5% commission on sales. So, he is asking us to prepare consignment account in the books of Chandra. Consignment. So, what is the new point here? 5 cycles are damaged due to fire accident. So, in consignment business, goods may be lost because of two reasons. No? Normal reasons, abnormal reasons. If goods are damaged due to its inherent nature, it is known as normal loss. If goods are damaged due to abnormal reasons like fire accident, theft, floods, earthquake, mishandling of the labor, etc., then this loss is known as abnormal loss. So here, these are bicycles. So due to its inherent nature, there is no chance of loss now. So this loss is abnormal loss. And Sometimes, consignor may take insurance policy against abnormal loss. But in present problem, there is no information about insurance. Means, these goods are not insured. So, in case of normal loss, we need not to have a separate calculations. So, we need not to calculate normal loss amount separately. And no general entries are also required. But, in case of abnormal loss, separate calculations are necessary. Why we have to calculate abnormal loss separately? normal loss value will be within the limits so that the normal loss amount we can charge to unsold stock but the abnormal loss quantity may be beyond the limits so if you charge that to unsold stock then unsold stock value increases then we should sell it for higher prices nobody will buy therefore instead of charging this abnormal loss value to unsold stock separately we should calculate it and in consignment account also we will show that so in present problem, we are going to know how to calculate abnormal loss and what are the entries related with abnormal loss. Consignment account is asking. Therefore, heading is Ledger of Chandra Kanzaina in his books, Consignment Account. So this account is a nominal account now. David said, consignment related expenses and losses we should show. Credit side, incomes and gains. First what happened? Consignment are sent goods on consignment basis. Entry is consignment account at R2 goods sent on consignment account. So in consignment account, David said we should post two goods sent on consignment account. 100 by scales into 500 rupees each. 50,000 rupees in outer column. To send these goods, consignment incurred expenditure 1000. So expenditure on David said we should show now. Our assumption is consignment paid this money through check. So I am writing bank account, 1000 rupees. Then sales, abnormal entry at the end of you will write. Sales entry, sale means income. In consignment account, income on credit side we should write. Goods are sold by Gupta, therefore write down his name. Buy Gupta account, 80 by scales 
at the rate of 900 rupees each 72000 rupees consignee's expenditure debit side consignee's name you should write to gupta account 800 plus 1200 total 2000 rupees consignee's commission 5% on sale for consignment business this commission is expenditure so debit side you should write for commission also write on consignee's name to gupta account sales amount 72000 into commission rate 5% 3600 so everything you have shown here finally two calculations are required first one abnormal loss value calculation second one unsold stock value calculation first working notes abnormal loss value calculation cost of five by skills because five by skills are lost in five accident so five by skills into one by skill cost price is 500 now multiply with that 2500 to this consign or direct expenditure we should add plus proportionate direct expenses of consign or chandra on 100 by skills consign or incurred 1000 rupees so consign or expenditure is always direct expenditure now on 100 by skills if expenditure is 1000 on 5 by skills expenditure is how much so 5 by skills related expenditure we should consider here On hundred, if expenditure is thousand, on five, how much? Thousand divided by hundred into five is equal fifty rupees. Total two thousand five fifty. Why I am not adding consignee's direct expenditure? Consignee incurred eight hundred rupees on customs duty, twelve hundred on go down rent and advertisement. Here customs duty is direct expenditure. No? Why I am not considering? Because I am not calculating unsold stock value here, I am calculating abnormal loss value. So these goods are lost in transit. No, means on hundred goods, Chandra incurred thousand. But how many goods are received by Gupta in transit? Only five are damaged. So Gupta received only ninety five bicycles. So whatever he spends on ninety five bicycles only, no, not on these five bicycles, no. That is why, why calculating five by skills value, I am not taking consignee's direct expenditure. Suppose goods are lost in consignee's go down. So he received a hundred by skills. To receive this hundred by skills, he incurred customs duty. In that case, consignee's direct expenditure also we should add. So abnormal loss value two thousand five fifty. There is no insurance here now. Therefore. This two thousand five fifty is the loss to Chandra. Finally, he has to bear this loss. And in books we have to show this. In consignment account, we said we should show. Observe goods sent on consignment account. David said we are showing sales credit side, unsold stock credit side. So goods inputs David said we are writing goods outgoings credit side we are writing abnormal loss means also goods are going out. That is why credit side we should write. So credit side two thousand five fifty we should show means while writing the entry, consignment account should be credited two thousand five fifty. Then in abnormal loss entry, which account is to be debited? So this amount we should transfer to profit and loss account. Therefore, debit profit and loss account. Two thousand five fifty. So this entry we should post in consignment account. As consignment account is created, credit side we should post. What do I write in particular column? Debit account name. By profit and loss account. And you should know how this entry came. Actually speaking, two entries we should write here. So first one is abnormal loss account data to consignment account. Two thousand five fifty. Why abnormal loss account is debited? Because abnormal loss comes under nominal account. Expenses, losses, incomes, gains come under nominal account. No? Nominal account rule: debit all expenses and losses, credit all incomes and gains. Therefore, abnormal loss account is debited. 
as abnormal loss account is a nominal account at the year end we should close that account so we close all nominal accounts by transferring to either trading account or profit and loss account abnormal loss account we should close by transferring to profit and loss account what is the entry for that by debiting we created abnormal loss account if you want to close this account you should credit abnormal loss account 2550 then by transferring to profit and loss account we have to close now therefore we should debit profit and loss account so actually speaking these two entries we should write and first entry is containing consignment account now therefore this entry we should post here means by abnormal loss account we should write but why i have written this entry because this entry is the end result of these two entries now observe which account is common in these two entries abnormal loss account in first entry abnormal loss account is debited in second entry abnormal loss account is created amounts are same end result is these two accounts will get cancelled then finally profit and loss account is on debit side consignment account is on credit side so instead of writing these two entries direct entry we can write like this profit and loss account it are to consignment account sometimes in question clearly he may ask prepare abnormal loss account in that case if you write this direct entry you cannot prepare abnormal loss account therefore these two entries we should write and by posting them in abnormal loss account even that account also we should prepare so in present problem he is asking only consignment account he is not asking us to prepare abnormal loss account therefore instead of these two entries direct entry i wrote and in some books instead of abnormal loss word you may see other words also for example stock loss in consignment account loss in transit account accidental loss account so all are same so abnormal loss related calculations completed finally come to unsold stock value calculation consignor send 100 bicycles five bicycles are damaged consignee received 95 bicycles he sold 80 bicycles so 95 minus 80 15 bicycles are unsold so this is the unsold stock value now we should calculate second working notes unsold stock value calculation unsold stock 15 bicycles now cost of 15 bicycles 15 bicycles into one bicycle cost price 500 is equal to 7500 to this add proportionate direct expenses of consignor and consignee plus proportionate direct expenses of consignor chandra on 100 by skills chandra incurred 1000 rupees expenditure now then on 15 by skills how much so as we are calculating 15 by skills value 15 by skills related expenses only we should consider here 1000 divided by 100 into 50 is equal 150 rupees and on this 95 by skills Kanzaini also incurred expenditure now. So in this 95 by skills unsold stock 15 is also there. So on unsold stock Kanzaini also incurred expenditure. Therefore while calculating unsold stock value Kanzaini's direct expenditure also we should consider. Kanzaini's direct expenditure is custom duty 800. So that 800 is spent on 95 by skills. We want 15 by skills value. Therefore question is on 95 by skills if consignee's direct expenditure is 800 on 15 by skills how much so be careful here don't take 100 because 800 is not spent on 100 by skills in transit only 5 by skills are damaged so consignee received only 95 by skills on this 95 by skills only he spent those expenses now so instead of 100 95 only we should take here 800 divided by 95 into 15 is equal 126 add these three amounts unsold stock value is 7776 in consignment account credit side we should show unsold stock value you know 7776 for that by consignment stock account so everything is completed finally we have to find out the profit or loss 
Credit total minus debit total. Credit column total is 82,326. Debit column total 56,600. Difference 25,726 is profit. Because credit side we wrote incomes, debit side expenditure. Income total is more than expenditure total. So this profit debit side will show. Because debit total is less. Transfer this profit to profit and loss account. To profit and loss account. Two sides put the highest total. 82,326. Credit side also same. So this is all about 16 problems. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.